Taking our 5G testing efforts out of the lab and into the field is a major milestone in our efforts to launch 5G commercially. It allows our engineers to test 5G in real world scenarios under customer load on our commercial network, which our customers are using today, testing things like signal propagation, uh, site to site handoff, and true mobility features, which is the backbone of our 5G launch. Our 5G rollout is well underway. In the first half of 2019, our customers can expect that we will launch 5G in nine major metropolitan areas in the United States. It all starts when we launch the first fully integrated 5G smartphone in partnership with LG. And we follow that quickly with many other devices, including a smartphone from Samsung and a mobile data hub 5G from HTC. We are showing the very first over-the-air live 5G and our call out in the field. On the base station side, we've got our very compact Nokia 5G Airscale Massive MIMO Active Antenna. We are located here at a commercial Sprint cell site in San Diego. Our antenna is actually aesthetically hidden inside the roof of the building. On the device side, on the client side, we're using a smartphone form factor test device, which is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon X50 5G modem. The device has antenna modules with integrated RF transceiver, RF front end, and the antenna elements all operating on Sprint's 2.5 GHz spectrum. Now on the application side, we are running multiple concurrent applications including streaming video and video conferencing that has both messaging and collaboration tools. All of this in a mobile environment. We are very happy to have worked with Sprint and Nokia on the world's first 2.5 GHz 5G connection on a commercial massive MIMO network. 2.5 GHz and sub-6 GHz spectrum is a perfect platform to enable wide area coverage with high-performing NR. We look forward to working with Sprint and Nokia on further milestones as we bring NR to commercial reality in 2019.